Hey guys, it's Mariah, and I finally decided to start my curly hair YouTube. This is how I do my wash and go in the winter. First, I use African black soap for my hair, which is really helps out. Next, I use coconut conditioner for my deep condition. Then I separate my wet hair into two sections on the side of my head, and then further separate it into four sections using clips. And I got my clips with this curling iron thing, but I just use them for my natural hair or whenever I'm trying to section my hair um, to get it ready for anything. Now that my hair is separated, I start applying the product. My favorite is Shea Moisture. It is a deep treatment mask, which I love so much. I just bought it, but I love it. My mom got it for me for Christmas. And it has a nice texture to it. I really like the texture and everything, and it's very soft. It's very, like, it smells nice, too. It has, a, like, a fruity, tropical-like smell, so I like the smell. And I just, I apply it from root. To, no, from tip of my hair to the root because that helps me more because my ends are usually the driest part of my hair. Now I'm just taking out the top sections of my hair. Um, I just... I don't know, I kind of keep them separate, like I kind of remember where I parted it so that I can still apply the next product to it in the same four sections or similar sections. You can always just pin it back up if you want to keep the parts completely separate. You know? <clears throat> Show you what I mean in the next little section. And I just rake it through my curls. The next product I use is another Ren Pure product. It is the gel, and I really love it because it's super light. It's super, um, I don't know, it like makes your hair smell really good because it has coconut in it. And if you read the ingredients, you can basically pronounce all of them. So I, I'm showing you guys here how I'm trying to keep the parts separate. I'm trying to still moisturize those four separate parts like I did for the Shea Moisture. I just eyeball it. Some people, if you really want to um, make sure the parts are exactly the same, you can always, again, clip it back up. And the gel is going to make your hair hard at first, which is a little weird, but like after it starts to dry up, it'll really lock in the curl. That's why I let. What well, that's what I love about. It. Now after I've applied the gel to all four sections, I just take it, run my hand through it a few times, and bring it back up front. Um, the key after you mo like really moisturize your hair and everything, don't touch it for a while. Now that my hair is dry, I use my afro pick to pick out the hair to make it fuller and more voluptuous, I guess. And you, as you can see, the curls dried up very nicely. They're very defined because of the products that I use.
And now I'm going to work on the part that everybody loves most about my hair, my baby hair. I do take time on them. I use jam, which is one of my favorite holes. And I just use a tiny, tiny bit of it on my baby hair to slip them down. Or edges, whatever you guys like to call them. And I just slip it down first. All the way around my head, like even under my um, little piece of hair over there. And then I use my bristle brush to slick the baby hairs down and I move it in a circular motion so that I can get the best out of my baby hairs. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hope this helps you. Bye.